the challenge put to us was to give guidance to authors to produce a new generation of textbooks to begin with for mathematics, science, geography, and language. We were, of course, aware of the growing number of educations in this field, education for sustainable development, global citizen education, peace education, human rights education, and several more. And we were also aware of the irritation going along with this, and uh, we felt that we should find a common language and stress more the commonalities of these approaches, as was mentioned this morning. So we ag agreed on a common vision of sustainable development, common competencies such as thinking critically or reflecting on values, as well as common pedagogies, such as learner-centered activities. So, what is innovative with our project? It is the integration of these commonalities we have to find out in school subjects through textbooks. And this is what we call embedding. And uh, I will now pass on to Yoko and Eleni to let you, more, let you know more about the what and why of embedding. Thank you very much, Robert. So what do we mean by embedding? Why do we use the term embedding? There have been numerous calls to integrate or mainstream education for sustainable development into the entire education system. When we talk about 4.7, we always talk about it's not just about formal education, but it's non-formal and informal learning settings. And we are talking about all levels of education from early childhood to higher education in different types of education. So. This call for a whole system transformation, a whole system redesign of the entire education system, this is such a tall order. But we have to begin somewhere. So our proposal is to embed education for sustainable development and education for global citizenship into core subjects. So our approach is not an adding on approach. Uh, it's not about inserting new thematic contents into the already overcrowded curriculum, but to integrate education for sustainable development into the uh, knowledge content of core subjects. Um, this approach is dramatically different from the approach of celebrating uh, Peace Day just once a year or planting trees on the Earth Day. It's about uh, putting uh, education for sustainable development at the very core, at the center of uh, different subjects. Because at the end of the day, uh, teachers are too busy teaching subjects. And um, teachers have to ensure that students um, achieve learning outcomes in the subject domains. But uh, moral, social, and humanistic purposes of education we talked about a lot this morning, they cannot be achieved just through a standalone subject. So our proposal is to embed ESD at the core of our education system. Now I would like to hand over to Eleni, who will explain why embedding works. So, why is the approach that we used in this guidebook, the embedding approach, so good? 
Firstly, it's an efficient strategy to address the challenges associated with ESD. It is efficient because it fits in with existing educational practices and therefore makes sense for all education stakeholders. For example, teachers are trained in subjects. Textbooks are subject focused. Textbook authors are often subject focused. Schools don't have time for new subjects. Therefore, Target 4.7 offers an untapped opportunity to mainstream ESD into core subjects such as maths, science, or languages that are already mandatory and therefore have a lot of teaching hours dedicated to them. Secondly, it's a viable intervention that will live a long-term legacy. Simply producing additional resources means teaching ESD on the periphery of the curriculum, and this will not have a long-term impact. Our approach allows ESD to be organically embedded from within the subjects, from within the textbooks themselves, which are such a core and visible part of the curriculum. Let's not forget that even in today's digital world, textbooks still remain a core part of the curriculum, even in those countries which do not have proper school infrastructure. And finally, Embedding corresponds to a <laughs> Can you hear me? Sorry about that. It didn't like my third point, but it's the last one. So finally, it fits in with the key goal of education stakeholders, which is to produce top quality educational material. It allows ESD competencies to develop, such as critical thinking or problem solving, leading to more active, reflective, and responsible students. Embedding also brings our textbooks up to date with the most recent sociocultural, economic, environmental, and political uh, findings. A textbook that does not embed ESD will fail to gain from such enriched, interdisciplinary and up-to-date content. So all in all, embedding is an efficient strategy, an efficient uh, and viable intervention, and will produce both improved quality content and pedagogy. So a win-win situation for all. Thank you very much for listening, and we hope you enjoy reading our introduction.